What's up, Fuku World? DMZ TV. My name is Dutch. And today we have a very special guest. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Kenny, your favorite Dominican. And today on Hookah 101, we're going to be talking about how to make big clouds. All right, guys. So today we're going to go over how to make big clouds. All right. So when you want to get those big, nice, fluffy, juicy clouds, what you need is three things you have to worry about is um, airflow. Flow, yeah. uh, the second will be heat management. And third will be your techniques of inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're gonna start with the first thing, and the first thing is actually packing the bowl. Uh, for today, we're gonna be using Sherbetly, uh, it's blonde tobacco, and we're gonna pack this bowl, it's an ST bowl. And if you if you look at this bowl, you'll see there's a hole in the middle, mm -hmm. that's the funnel. Yeah, now with the funnel, you if if the funnel is very thin, you're gonna get not enough airflow. Mm -hmm. So, just to give you an example with this bowl right here. As you can see, this bowl has a very tight hole in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some diameter in the yeah. You know, for the airflow. So it's going to be hard because you're going to have to inhale yeah. a real hard. Yeah. Well, real hard. For yeah. That. So um, you you want something that's more open. So when you have a bowl like this, this is perfect to get that airflow. So let's go ahead and start packing this tobacco. All right, Kenny, as you can see, we finished back in the bowl. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we used the blonde tobacco from Sherbetly. Uh, nice fluff. It's a fluff pack because we want nice, good airflow. Mm -hmm. Now, if the tobacco is very thick, then we would actually um, use a scissors and we'll cut it a little okay. finer so you get better airflow. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, some people, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of a debate going on. Some people like to dry the tobacco out. Other people say no. What do you think? Well. I I recommend not to dry, mm -hmm. yeah, especially thing. especially if you're using a funnel bowl. Yeah, um, there's no need to dry. Yeah, you'll definitely okay. dry. Yeah. Now, in some cases, when the tobacco is like very juicy, mm -hmm. uh, what would I would recommend is like squeeze out a little bit of the juice and actually use that juice in the bottom. On the bottom, you know. So you don't want to get rid of all the juices, yeah. but if it's too juicy, yeah, take a little juice. Yeah. Um, there's no need to use a napkin and mm -hmm. dry it out, mm -hmm. you know. I always recommend funnel bowls. Um, they're my favorite. Yeah, mine too. Um, mine too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, but that's my recommendation. Mm -hmm. So we got the bowl ready, nice airflow. It's all packed. Now, how about we start smoking? Let's smoke, baby. Let's go. That's what we're here for. All right, Kenny, I think we're ready. I'm ready if you're, you're ready. ready. All right, so first thing, we got to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. So make sure anytime you smoke, make sure to stay hydrated. All right, so let's go over real quick. We have uh, three coals on each hookah. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we, uh, you can put four coals to heat, heat up the, the, the process a little quick. And then uh, if it gets too hot, take out a coal. So anytime you see that your coals, I mean, not your coals, anytime you see that your smoke is not really dense, yeah. maybe you know it needs an extra coal. Yeah. So you can just throw in an extra coal in there and that might help the process. Mm -hmm. So heat management is Always very important. important. Always important. Always management. important. All right. So we're using heat management devices. If you use um, foil, same thing as well. You can also, you know, heat it up with four coals. My boy David, now he he likes to heat up his bowl yeah. and he smokes at four coals. He like David like it hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> four coal gang. So um, right now we got the the coals already heated up. Another thing we have to talk about is water. Mm -hmm. So make sure your water level is usually between one to one and a half one inch. Half, yeah. mm -hmm. Now um, we have it a little bit higher because these hookahs right here, they actually have a very open drum. Mm -hmm. Now some people like to smoke restricted, but if you want big clouds, it's better, yeah, easier if mm -hmm. you have an open drum. And have it open for the airflow. Yeah, for that airflow. Um, let's go ahead and and, um, and go ahead and try these out now. Before we get to that, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what do you think about putting ice in the in the hookah? 
Yeah, like yeah. we put yeah. ice in so yours. Now, yeah. it's it, um, a lot of people, you know, tend to put ice in it. It's good. Mm -hmm. I recommend it in a way. Why is because when you got warm air coming down, um, you want to hit it with cold water. Yeah. Because that actually makes it into vapor. Now, warm air and it hits cold water, mm -hmm. you actually get, um, what happens is that the smoke actually contracts. Mm -hmm. So you get denser clouds, mm -hmm. okay? Same thing yeah. with the weather, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, how you get rainstorms and stuff like that. Yeah. So you wanna get it nice and cold, at least room temperature. That way you get nice, big, fluffy clouds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, another thing is mount tips. Yeah. Make sure you have an, a, a mount tip that's not too restricted because, mm -hmm. again, that's gonna restrict your airflow. Yeah. So try to avoid all that. Let's go ahead and, and try and try these um, and try these uh, hookahs yeah. out. We, we had them heating up for what? Like five minutes. Yeah, five, five minutes. Good, five good minutes. to or, um, organically heat up your 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 coals mm -hmm. and your and your bowl, and then that way you know it'll be a lot easier. So let's go ahead and try them out. All right. Baby, look at that. Yeah, that. Woo. Now that's what we call clouds, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I think the clouds in the sky are getting jealous. The, <laughs> the problem also, if you have too much clouds, it might start raining. Let, so let it gotta, rain. You gotta watch out when you've got these big clouds going on. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, another thing that we have to talk about is, and that's the last thing, is actually um, the uh, the inhale and the exhale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I've already went over with uh, with him about inhale and mm -hmm. exhale. Make sure you go uh, with a very slow and deep inhale. Mm -hmm. And also, it has to be even yeah. inhale. You don't want to do a quick yeah. pull because you're gonna start burning it. Yeah. You don't want those yeah. little pulses mm -hmm. of, of, of pulls because yeah. that that'll start heating up the bowl real quick and you might end up burning the mm -hmm. the tobacco. So go ahead and demonstrate what uh, what we do with these. Uh, uh, with a simple, nice, mm -hmm. even, and slow pull. Go ahead. Look at that. See? Woo. Nice, fluffy, milky mm -hmm. clouds. Now, a lot of people like to put, like, they, they say put milk in it. Mm. I don't recommend it. Uh, just go with just uh, water. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can try, you know, like putting uh, food coloring in there, but mm -hmm. do not put milk because the milk is going to make it um, harder to clean mm -hmm. and also you're going to deal with a lot of bacteria. bacteria. Uh, so I'm lactose intolerant, so no milk for me. No milk. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, there you have it. We went over a little bit of everything that we need. Uh, the, the most important thing is airflow. So as long as you have good airflow, that's one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. Heat management is the next, and of course, the the practicing with the inhaling and the mm -hmm. exhaling. You know? One more thing, yeah. um, purge. Oh, purge. we ain't talking about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, not, not the movie. All right, when you purge, um, remember in the beginning I was telling you, you know, you don't want to heat up the bowl. Mm -hmm. So you want, a lot of people tend to purge this way. That's mm -hmm. not the way to no. purge. So the way to purge is you want to do pulses. Uh, when you do pulses, you're pushing the, the, the gases and the heat from the bowl upwards. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and demonstrate. There you go. That's mm -hmm. the pulses that you want to do. You clear out the bowl, but you're also clearing out the gases mm -hmm. on that. You know, I was I was kind of jealous of, of yours. You, you, yours was kind of like, listen. Like, you want to try, try this up, try this up. Let me see. Let me work. The, the, the thing is that, of course, here, his, you saw the bowl that we were using, a very nice open mm -hmm. bowl, and we also packed it real nice. This bowl is a glass bowl. It, 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 it has a very restricted, um, as you can see right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a kind of restricted down by the downstream. Mm -hmm. So let's see what kind of clouds we get with this one. All right, go ahead. Ooh. Wow. Oh my mm. gosh, look at that. Now that those are clouds. Mm. So there you have it folks. Um I uh I went over uh, all the little things that you need to know about uh, hookah and the uh clouds to get them nice and thick. So um if you like the video, don't forget leave a comment below. Let us know if you have any tips and tricks about it. Yeah, right there in the comments. Yeah, just put it down in the comments. But 
If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Now, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit that little bell at the top. That little bell. So that way you'll get notified for any new videos coming out. My name is Dutch. I'm Kenny. And we are out. Ooh, yeah. Happy New Year, baby. Yo, Dutch, come have a shot with me. Have a drink with me. We don't just there, bro. What we got there? What we got over here, man? We got... Oh, my Listen, God. it's the New Year, baby. Yo, yo, happy New Year, baby. Yeah, yeah. 2020, baby. Mm. Mm. Woo! Here, bro. I ain't strong enough. Hold up. You know Dominicans invent the hookah, right? <laughs> That's a true story. Yeah, we, we was in Palestine like in 67 BC. True story, man. Yeah, we were smoking with the Sphinx and the Pharaoh and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Really? True story, man. What, would I lie to you? <laughs> you ever met a Dominican that lies? No. We faithful. We true. Hold up. All right, all right. Oh, shit. Woo! Let me see that cloud. Bro. Oh, yeah. Stop by the side. Let me hear that. Woo!